What up, beautiful people? First things first, we in here with these Eclipse packs. I need y'all to like the video, strap in, lock in. We about to get straight to these cards. I'm going to let you know who's who and what's what. So let's go. We're going to kick it off like this. We starting out with Shea Gildress, Sir Alexander, the Great. So, all right, off top, bro, has 38 Hall of Fame badges, 34 gold ones. And he's looking kind of tough. This is the paid version right here. And let me let you know what the difference is between the paid and the not paid version of Shea Gildress. This is your level 40. So when you get to 40, this is what you get. And you see that 95 three-point shot is what stands out to me. I'm not really tripping off the badges at this point because, I mean, I'm not. It's just not what I'm into right now. I'm not tripping. 98 ball handle with a 97 speed with ball. I'm loving it already. Already, I'm, I'm really into a 90 driving dunk is kind of low, but I'll take it. I'll take it. 95 three point shot is kind of low, but I also take that. I mean, but with a grain of salt, because this is the level 40. You know how they did us last season with Harden. So it is what it is. OK, and if we go ahead and stick him side by side with the non paid version. It's looking like the, there's no difference in attributes, actually. So we know it's going to be with the animations, the animations. We see in quick and very quick. The non-paid version has quick. Paid version has very quick. What else am I looking for? I'm not seeing anything else. Okay, no, right here. This Kyrie Irving dribble style. And this Michael Jordan dribble style. It's looking like the paid version has Kyrie. Which I mean, I don't know how much value that adds to this dude, but it should it should make a big difference. Michael Jordan is on the non-paid version. But look at this look on his face. He's just happy to be here. Bro, bro is not. I mean, OK, he's six, six. You know, we have a height requirement on our team. That's just how we do. That's just how we get out. So, I mean, if you're going to go ahead and get the Hall of Fame pass, I would say that will get you that will get you a point guard that you can feel. Ninety nine overall point guard out here. Dark Matter, Shea Gilders, Alexander. I'm not mad at him. I mean, it's looking kind of low, but that's because it's well, it's not a free card. That's the it's accessible, though. That's the point. It's a dark matter that you can get your hands on. You know what I'm saying? Because we know that the way everything is going without having this player market. I mean, we're having this player market and no auction house. You know, certain certain cars just aren't accessible. All right. We're looking at this Glenn Rice now. Glenn Rice is a 6'8 small forward shooting guard. But he has 38 Hall of Fame badges and 34 gold ones. You can go ahead and pause the video and look at them. See which ones are upgradable and which ones are not. You know what I'm saying? But if we go ahead and go ahead and look here at this three point shot, this 98 three point shot, that's what he does. He's a he's a spot up shooter. That's what he does. 94 speed with ball, 90 ball handle. He might be able to move a little bit. But um, Patrick Mills and Colin Sexton on very quick. OK, with a pro two leaner, you might be able to move out a little bit with him. Signature size up is Steve Francis. I'm not mad at that. Long athlete layup. With 12 dunk packages, you can get under basket flushes with bro. He got athletic 360s. I mean, he's not that athletic, though, with a 90 driving dunk. Uh, I would say, I mean, if you're going to grind for this card, the, the thing is, we're looking at these accessible cards first. These are cards that you can get your hands on. This Paolo Blanchero, he's not free. I think you do have to get the Hall of Fame pass or the pro pass to get him. So, I mean, but you get him first, though. This is a 6'10 small forward power forward with 27 Hall of Fame badges and 46 gold badges. You can, like I said, you can scroll through, pause the video where you want to and check out them badges. All right. Now, as far as his defense. It's looking a little lackluster interior defense on 92 perimeter on 92 lateral quickness on 92. Everything is kind of low in that in that regard. As far as his rebounding, rebound is looking kind of low at 95, but with a shoe, you know that's that's a 99. 94 three-point shot is alarming to me, but I'm not looking for Paolo to shoot like that. He does have some inside game, but I'm still not it's not looking too it's looking lackluster. Paolo's looking really lackluster. Paolo Blanchero jumper on quick, very quick. For a 99, this is looking mid. This is a mid looking 99. 12 dunk packages, LeBron James layup package. I mean, 
if you need bro on your team, you need some length on your team, or you just want to add some attribute points to your team, this is a 98 overall Galaxy Opal Palo. And yeah, get to it. A 90, 90, a 91. What am I talking about? Here go Robert Parrish. 98 overall Robert Parrish, Galaxy Opal. Seven foot one is what I was trying to get out at first. Okay, Buddy is actually a reward also. I believe he's your reward for triple threat online or something. Triple threat offline, clutch time. He has 27 Hall of Fame badges. 26 gold ones. Like I said, you can scroll through, pause the video. But um, he's not looking good. A 45 three-point shot. That's what I was worried about. I do need a center on my team at this point, but this isn't going to be the one. I mean, driving layup, standing dunk is 95. Uh, 90, 97 offense rebound and defense rebounding, but that's lackluster at the same time. He's looking like some more mid. Bismack Biombo, David Nweba on very quick, but with a 45 three-point shot. What is he shooting mid-range? 90 mid-range, so he can step inside the line and hit. Definitely. 90, a 97 close shot. So, I mean, he's, he's fieldable, but not for me. He's not anybody that I would throw on my team because I can't hit from behind the line with him like that. He does have LeBron James layup package. He does have 12 dunk packages, but Robert Parrish is looking like some more mid lackluster. Let's see what Andre Drummond is talking about. A 6'11 power forward center. Um, another one with a 43 three point shot. I'm not even going to go into this. He's, this is trash to me. What is his rebound? At 98 rebounding. So if you need somebody to rebound, his mid-range shot is worse than Robert Parrish at 67. He does have a 98 close shot. He does have a, a deep standing dunk, driving dunk, and driving layup. He, mm, 86 ball handle, 87 speed with ball. Eh, I'm not really looking to play with, I'm not, yeah, I'm, they're doing Andre Drummond very wrong. Very wrong. I mean, they can put this back in the pack and throw it away. Default big layup package, 12 dunk packages. They can, yeah, they can throw this card away. You can put this card in rice. I mean, I'm not even, I'm not looking for bro. I'm sorry, Andre Drummond. I'm just not checking. Okay, this this pink diamond Scalabrini that you can get to, a 6'9 power forward, small forward. Uh, it's looking lackluster too. 19 Hall of Fame badges, 45. Gold badges. Uh, with a 95 three point shot, you can check on, you can check for Scally to hit them threes. You can definitely do that. He doesn't rebound very well. 85 offense, 88 defense. You're not going to look for him to have no ball movement with him. He's not dunking on nobody like that. 80, mid 80s, just about mid 80 everything's. What he can do is shoot. He does have that 95 three point shot. This, this jumper look crazy. Utah want to be, Utah want to be, and Emmanuel quickly, on normal, on normal at that. At this point in the game, this is not a card that you're looking for. This is not a card that you want on your team. This is not a card that can help your team do anything. At this point in the game, it's just a pink diamond that you're going to need to lock in. Rui, Rui is a 6'8 small forward power forward, so he's undersized already. 19 Hall of Fames, 53 gold badges. This guy is not anything else that you're 92 rebounding. Rebounding is not as high as I would want it to be. It's just another pink diamond that you're going to need to lock in for the free stuff. You know what I mean? It's for you to get that, that free pack, that free dark matter galaxy opal pack. Harold Miner, again, another pink diamond lock in a six, five shooting guard, small forward. Um, as far as badges, bro has 19 Hall of Fame, 44 gold ones. You're not really looking for this dude to do too much. 89 three-point shot. I mean, maybe they'll release another hero minor somewhere down the line, but who knows? He could just get lost in the shuffle. I mean, as you can see, he only has one other version, which was a rewritten. So, eh, I mean, at this point, what are we really looking for from hero minor? Donovan Mitchell, Derek Rose on quick. We're not, it's just some more mid. He's it's a lackluster mid lock-in card. Yeah, I mean, if you got a lock man now, this Isaiah Thomas. This is some more mid. 
because I thought bro was six feet, but it turns out he's five and nine. You can get him off the player market, though. It's an opal that you can get off the player market, point guard, shooting guard. But why would you want this card? He's way undersized. You know, on my team, we have we have a it's a theme for my team where I'm not fielding you unless you six four or up. I need you to be at least six four. I mean, he does have a 98 three point shot, 98 speed, 98 acceleration, 98 vertical. He does have a 98 driving dunk. He can't driving dunk or standing dunk. Um, He's not really, I mean, 90 defense, 97 lateral quickness, 98 speed with ball, 98 ball handle, 98 passing accuracy. So, I mean, upper 90 playmaking, 98 playmaking is, is not bad. 98 three-point shot, 98 shooting around the board, not bad. 98 athleticism around the board, not bad. Not very strong, just too short for me. I mean, and I know a lot of short people get a lot of flack, but that's just the truth. It's just not tall enough for my team, for the game mode. You know what I'm saying? In this game mode, you got, you got Wimby floating around, seven foot through the roof. You got people like Chet Holmgren floating around, a seven foot through the roof, lanky long arm of the law. I mean, there's nothing that you can do with that. I mean, okay, as long as people like Chris Stapps Porzingis can jump from the baseline to the three point line and get a contest, there's really nothing you can do with a five nine player. He's getting blocked by most players. The SIGs look okay, I guess. I'm not really one that knows what the park SIGs are, but I mean, eh. It's mid. It's more mid that they're throwing at us. And that's sad that this is the card that they put in the market for us to get. But this is what they're giving us. OK, Steve Nash is 6'3". He's a little bit taller. You know, he can he can maybe make the team. 27 Hall of Fame badges. 32 gold ones. You can pause the video and check them out if you need to. All right. 97 three point shot is where it's at. There's a lot of red in that inside scoring. 25 standing dunk. Speed with ball is okay at 97. 98 ball handle. I mean, I'm feeling, bro, with the 97 speed, 97 acceleration. I'm, I'm feeling that a little bit. He may be, I mean, Steve Nash on very quick, Stephen Curry dribble style, pro two leaner. I mean, he's not really finishing too well. He does have Kyrie's layup, which is not bad. You can get basic hangs, basic two handers. But the the SIGs aren't looking, I mean, pro elite motion style, pro escape, pro breakdown. I don't know what these are worth, to be honest, because I'm not a point guard. And, you know, I mean, I don't lab up at the point guard spot, but you can tell me in the comment section which ones of those are valuable. Because I don't really know which ones of those are valuable. But as a point guard, he is 6'3", and you can buy him off the market. So, I mean, if you if you're looking for a point guard, that's Galaxy Opal. This Eclipse Steve Nash is ready to be on your team. And Dante da DeMontis Sabonis, a 7-1 center, 93-point shot. I'm feeling that. I'm, I'm feeling that. I mean, for it to be a center that you can buy off the market, 27 Hall of Fames, 30 gold ones. Like I said, go ahead and pause and check them out if you need to. All right, look. The rebounding is a little bit low. But he is, I mean, he's he's one of the cards that you can get. You can get your hands on him. You can buy him straight off the market. So 95 offense and defense rebounding is, I mean, that's more than enough. You can throw a shoe on him and get 99 out of that. That's more than enough. A 93-point shot is okay. Not bad. As far as these animations, he's on very quick with his jumper. He does have a few four dunk packages, just big man dunks, basic big mans. Default big layup. He has Joel and B's dribble style and stuff, you know. Moving crossovers on Giannis, you might be able to get to the buck. Uh normal uh, a normal leaner. So I mean, if you need to pick him up, I wouldn't be mad at picking him up. I mean, I as far as my team is concerned, I don't see myself I don't see myself using him. And then John Stockton is here. We got John Stockton right here. I believe he's one of the uh rewards this season 
don't get me wrong. I can't remember right now, but uh, clear me up in the comment section if if I'm wrong. 27 Hall of Fames, 33 gold badges, a 97 three-point shot on this card. This card has a 97 three-point shot. It has 98 to 99 playmaking. The speed with ball 98, ball handling 98, speed is on 98, acceleration on 98. This is an exceptional card to be 6'1". He's just a little bit small. John Stockton on very quick. Stephen Curry dribble style. Pro leaner. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Normal leaner, pro spin jumper. Not really dunking or nothing like that, but I mean, hey, if I got my hands on John Stockton, with the way that these attributes are looking, I might try him. I just might try him out. You know, John Stockton, I mean, I, I'm not going to call him mid. I'll call him mid because he's a little small. That's the only reason. And we got Sean Kemp right here. Dark Matter Sean Kemp is... Not looking bad with a 91 three-point shot. 38 Hall of Fame badges, 35 gold ones. That 91 three-point shot is standing out to me for a Sean Kent. I'm not going to hold you. 90 offense and defense rebounding. You know how Sean Kemp does inside scoring up there through the roof. You know what I mean? His post moves ain't that much, but you can get him to 99. Kind of fast. Acceleration on 95. Vertical on 98. You know, he plays above the rim. But he plays above the rim real big, so be looking for him to get up and at him. All right, forgive me if I don't know who Malachi Flynn is, Romeo Langford either, but that's the jumper on very quick. Call me a newbie. Call me somebody. Laugh at me. I don't know them. LeBron James layup package, but he has 14 dunk packages. He plays way above the rim. If you know anything about the Sonic... The prehistoric, forget the 90s Sonic, the Supersonics were them. Gary Payton and Sean Kemp were the duo, and he's big above the rim. Sean Kemp goes hard above the rim. Anyway, he's not that much of a shooter, but he does have a 91 three-point shot, so I'll field him. I go for Sean Kemp every year any way it goes because back when we had this thing that we used to have in a game, and I'm going to get reminiscent right here. Because it's something that we had that you youngsters just don't get to these days. They took it out of the game. For some reason, we had an auction house. We could auction off players, guys. Believe it or not, we could auction off our players at a price that we set as a community, depending on how much we feel like that card is worth. So if I wanted to put out a card, if we feel like a card is worth a million MT, that's how much it would go for it. You know what I mean? And if it went for more than that, people could bid it up higher than that. I mean, yeah, it caught it, it caused some type of black market. It did, it did have, you know, with everything, there's a there's a surefire way to have a dark side to everything. And there was a dark side to the auction house. There was some people making money, a lot of money, off of 2K that didn't necessarily work for 2K. Or did they? Who knows? We'll never know. That's just how the mob works in secrecy. So, yeah, it was some people making money off of the, the auction house or whatever. And my reason for telling you this story, kids, Sean Kemp would always be on this auction house for a reasonable price. And he's an above the rim player, which I like to throw alley-oops. So I would always go get Sean Kemp. I personally want Sean Kemp on my team this year, and I hope I do pull him. But I would like for that three point shot to be a little bit higher. If that could be like a 94. I mean, 95 is the sweet spot because you can always throw that shoe on him and make him 99. But I think that'd be too much for. I don't know. I, that, am I asking for too much? But yeah, Sean Camp is not a bad card. That's a good that's a good guy. That's a real good guy. As far as Terry Dissinger, I believe Terry Dissinger is the reward that you can get from. 100 wins and triple threat, I think. I think that's the one. We can go back and check the report, though. But Terry Dissinger actually might not be that bad of a card. Now, I'm looking at 38 Hall of Fame badges, 33 gold badges. And he's not looking too bad. Offense and defense rebounding is at 90. And I mean, that's for a small forward, power forward. He's 6'7". With 95 three-point shot, you can get that to the 99 sweet spot. 
You know what I mean? That 95 is usually that sweet spot because you throw that plus four and you get 99 on him. Depending on what coach you have on your team, too, makes a big difference. 94 speed, 92 acceleration. He's uh, jumping out the gym, 95 dunk, 90, 97 driving layup. Lateral quickness is mid-90s. His defense is mid-90s. Low block, a 90 block. Okay. Speed with ball, ball handle 90, ball, ball handle at 86. Speed with ball at 92. So, I mean, Terry might be, I mean, if you're looking for a small forward, power forward, that's, that's dark matter. This is the dark matter that you can actually get your hands on because you can grind for it. Ultimate reward, unlimited rewards. So, I mean, for him to be an unlimited rewards and have Rudy Gay's lower base, Carmelo Anthony's upper release on very quick, that might be a pretty good jumper. I'm not, I've never had, I've never had a problem with Carmelo's release or Rudy Gay's base. To be honest, back in the day, back, back, way back when, I used to use Rudy Gay's lower base. I, I used to cash out with Rudy Gay's lower base. We're talking about the 19, 18, 17 days. 2K16 type stuff. Yeah, that, I used to go in with that. So who knows how far Terry could take us? Terry, Terry, Terry. He do look like a... Uh, is it just me or does he look like Sandy Cheeks? He does look like he... Like he pop locks for corn nuts. I mean, whatever. Let's get to this Derrick Rose. Because Derrick Rose is the guy. He has... 38 Hall of Fames, 30 gold badges. Y'all can scroll through. It is what it is. 99 speed with ball, 98 ball handle. Playmaking is up there. 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Athleticism is up there. 98 vertical. You know this man used to play above the rim. If he had a 95 three-point shot, he would be the money. He would be right on the money. But he has a 94 three-point shot. Driving duck is 98. Driving layup is 99. You know how I was just watching highlights of him and Jimmy Butler just last night. I was watching highlights. They was getting it together. You know how they used to get down. 98 lateral quickness. He actually is pretty good on defense, too. That's crazy. This is crazy work. You put this man in a situation, he just might do a thing. He's a 6'3 point guard, so he just makes it right under my sweet spot, but at the same time, he plays so big that that it's no telling what you can do with this man. I mean, he can make the squad, especially with a 97 perimeter, 98 lateral. I mean, a 96 steal. I'm throwing him on the squad. 94 three-point shot with a 98 driving dunk. Come on, bro. With that type of athleticism under him and ball handling, this is going to be your point guard. Somebody's going to be happy when they pull this card. 13 dunk packages. Loader specialist. Okay, floater alert, floater alert. I'm just telling you, that's just, that's a money, it's a money move. Pro two leaner, Derrick Rose jumper on very quick. This card is a W. Eclipse Derrick Rose is a W. Mark my words, I said it, I meant it. Six seven small forward shooting guard, Jimmy Butler, ladies and gentlemen. This might be the the duo. I would like to pull this duo and be able to run with these guys. I'm not gonna lie. Thirty eight Hall of Fame badges. 33 gold badges. I mean, you stop and take a look at what's upgradable and what's not. He actually has alpha dog enforcer and team player. I don't know what kind of difference that makes. Speed with ball is 97. Ball handle was 92. I'm not mad at this card at all. 94 three-point shot with a 97 driving dunk. 98 layup. Draw foul is up there at 98. Um, This is another card that I'm telling you is going to be a W if you pull this card. 97 athleticism. 93 strength. He can defend too. This is your on ball defender. Like, like, I mean, it is what it is. He has a better three point shot than the Dennis Rodman that I told you would be your on ball defender. But here we go. We're here now. You know what I mean? 98 with 98 defense, 95 interior D. I'm not mad at this card right here. As far as the animations go, Jimmy Butler on very quick. LeBron James layup package, 12 dunk packages. Okay, Devin Booker's leaner. I'm not mad at that at all. Michael Jordan dribble style, Jimmy Butler motion style. Okay, Jimmy Butler signature size up. Uh, this card is a W. This card is a W. I mean, you take your time, and if you get him out of a pack, 
Jimmy's a W. Larry Legend. 6'9", power forward, small forward, Larry Legend. Let me get him right, though. 38 Hall of Fame badges, 38 gold badges. You can stop and see what's upgradable and what's not. Alpha Dog and Expressive. 94 speed with ball, 92 ball handle. I'm not mad at this card at all. With a 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 99 shooting. 99 shooting. And 2K has to troll us with a 25 shot IQ. Why would you give Larry, Larry Legend, I guess he used to shoot some nut shots, some nut ass shots, but I wouldn't do him like that. That's kind of, that's kind of crazy to do him like that. A 90 driving dunk with a 97 driving layup. I mean, he has post moves too, 95 post moves. If you want to throw a shoe on that, I mean, it is what it is. He also has 92 offense and 93 defensive rebounding. Intangibles are low, but 99 potential. Whatever that, you know what I mean? Emmanuel quickly and Larry Bird on very quick. Uh, long athlete layup package. 12 dunk packages. Dirk's post hop shot. Nikola Vujicic post hook. Kobe fades. He's shooting Kobe fades. Pro two leaner. The jumper might be money. Emmanuel quickly. Is that a good jumper? Is that a good lower base? Kawhi dribble style with Kawhi Leonard motion. Steve Francis size up. Trey Young's escape. With Trey Young escape, he's a W. With De'Aaron Fox breakdown, that John Wall crossover. I know some of these SIGs. Actually, I actually use that De'Aaron Fox breakdown. Steve Francis signature size up is money. You got a good launch out of that. Trey Young escape actually is one of the money escapes. I do believe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That penny spin. Yeah, this card might be a W, bro. And he can get athletic 360s. Oh, yeah, you can get you get wild with a hey, Larry Legend is him. Larry Legend is definitely him. That's one of those. This Chris stops. Let's, let's talk about this 7-3 small. I mean, power forward center. Chris stops Porzingis. But he has 38 Hall of Fame badges and 27 gold badges. You can pause and see what's upgradable there. 85 speed with ball. 86 ball handle. 97 three-point shot. Just looking at some of the stats that stand out. The acceleration is kind of low. Vertical is kind of low. But he is seven foot three. So take that as you want. Take that how you want to take it. 85 driving dunk. 95 standing dunk. So this big man, I mean, he's the long arm of the law. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to hate too much. I want to say mid for dark matter, but I can't because he's a center. He has long athlete layup package. Bro has 12 dunk packages. Uh, Chris stop on very quick is a good jumper. I'm not going to hold you Uh, normal leaner Kobe Bryant dribble style. It's not too much bad. I can say about this card. A lot of pro dribble moves. I see a lot of pro in them dribble moves. I see Giannis's crossover. He may be able to get to the bucket. I mean, I'm sure he should be able to get to the bucket. He takes big strides. He's a very big card. Seismic him was pretty good. So I'm looking forward to being able to play with this card. This is a card I can say actually is on my list of cards. I hope I get a chance to play with. 6'7", Nick Young, shooting guard, small forward. Let's talk about Nick Young for a second. Swaggy P is one of the premier players in my heart. I hold him real near and dear to me as far as nostalgia, nostalgia factor. He played with my Kobe. He played. He he was actually part of my Lakers for a long time. We get the Wizards version of bro. And I mean, 38 Hall of Fame badges, 23 gold ones. You can go ahead and pause and see what's going on with him. Team player. That's one thing I can say about my buddy. He's a team player. 90 speed with ball, 93 ball handle. Okay, see, they already trying to. They already trying to hold my guy. 97 three-point shot, though. That stands out. 95 driving dunk, 95 driving layup. So, okay, and he got them hands with him. 98 hands. For some reason, that stands out to me. It just does. The defense is a little bit lower than I thought it would be with a 98 perimeter, 89 perimeter, excuse me, and a 90 lateral. I mean, eh, 75 block. That's really a little bit lower than I thought this card would come out to. 
95 vertical, 92. He's kind of slower than I thought he would be, too. So they doing they doing my boy Nick kind of wrong. I'm not going to hold you. Ben Shepard and Carmelo Anthony on very quick. Kobe Bryant leaner. Normal post fade. Mm. Yeah, they're trying to do you wrong. He does have a jelly layer package. <laughs> I kind of, I feel that. I'm feeling the jelly layer package, nine dunk packages. They doing my boy Swaggy kind of dirty for him to be a 99 defense, 99 offense, 99 overall. Where is the 99 overall? It seems like they just put 99 overall on these cards because they have so many badges. It's starting to stand out to me that the badges may be the determining factor in how they're grading these cards uh, and what's upgradable. And just, I mean, because he has bully. I'm looking at these badges and okay, I'm going to let y'all judge for yourselves. I'm going to let y'all judge for yourselves. Pause the video, go through the badges, like I said, on every player. And the badges must be, we're going to compare these to the older. We're going to, I'm going to do a whole video where I just compare season six badges to season five badges. We're just going to have to do that. Because this card looks like a bunch of mid in a pack. They put Swaggy P, they put a 99 Dark Matter in a pack of mid. I mean, he can't dribble. 93 ball handling is okay, but it's low for a 99. He has 80 post moves, 80 post hook, 80 post fade. What am I supposed to do with that? The defense is low. The speed is kind of slow. For him to be a 99, what am I supposed to? It's, yeah, I, I don't know what 2K is smoking, but they they doing something wrong. Nate Thurman. Nate Thurman is out here. He's a collector reward. If you can get your hands on Nate Thurman, you might be lucky. A 611 small forward. I mean, a 611 power forward center. Excuse me. 32 Hall of Fame badges, 21 gold ones. I don't know. We have to 98 rebounding. Expressive, alpha dog, and friendly. Nate Thurman was a friendly mug, huh? 98 inside scoring. Defense looks a little, a little bit up there, mid to up there. 85 three point shot. So he really can't shoot that well. Athleticism looks low mid. He is strong though with stamina and hustle. That acceleration speed is kind of slow though. And I always thought that Nate Thurman was a small forward, power forward, but who am I? You know what I mean? Jonathan Isaac and Clay Thompson are very quick, long athlete layup package, 12 dunk packages. Pro 2 leaner, Trey Young escape. They, they're trolling. At this point, 2K is trolling. The bigs get Trey Young escape. Is he going to step back into a, what is he going to escape into? I don't, <laughs> I don't like 2K sometimes. But you guys, I just want you guys to know, sometimes you guys get on my nerves. And I'm going to just say it. I just have to say it. At this point, it has to be said. Sometimes you guys are trolls. I just have to say it. It has to be said. Why not? And what we all came here for, let's get to Giannis Antetokounmpo, the man himself, the premier 100 overall. He has 51 Hall of Fame badges, 26 gold ones. Y'all go ahead and feast your eyes on that. Everything is upgradable except for post fade Phenom in his shooting category. That's crazy. Y'all can pause them right there. 99 everything. Playmaking has 90, 98 passing, 99 intangibles, 99 potential, 99 rebounding, 99 defense, 99 inside scoring, 99 shooting, 98 three-point shots, surprisingly. They had to do it to him, right? 99 athleticism around the board. Giannis Ankatatumpo, Giannis Yanni Yan Yan on very quick. Yan Yanni Yan Yan. Steve Francis signature size up. Trey Young escape. This card is going to be dangerous. Pro 2 leaner. Kobe fade. This card is going to be dangerous. Long athlete layup package with 13 dunk packages. That's all you. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. The pink diamond version of this card was crazy. But this 100 overall stellar, whatever they call these 100 overall cards. This is crazy work, bro. Giannis is who you came to see. Giannis is who you got to go get. If you pull in these packs, the only way to get Giannis is to pull these, you know what I mean? So, uh, okay, I got to render this video because 
the season's about to start. It's 7.53. You might see this video in 20 minutes. You might see it in an hour. But depending on who you are, you liked and you subscribed. So you got the notification bell clicked and you're going to see the video as soon as it's loaded. So that you know everything that I know and everything that I showed you. Because you know me, I'm, I'm here to show you what's going on with these cards. So uh, we got to 35 minutes. That's the goal. That was the goal. We didn't show you every card. We showed you almost all of them. The ones that you should be worried about. But uh, y'all be cool, all right? Kobe! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.